Here's a quick fun video on um, creating GIFs for your banners for SharePoint. And I was actually um, inspired by a client this week who's asked me if I've done that. Now, I've added GIFs as banners, but I've never created my own for the banners itself. And I came up with a cool idea that I think could be inspirational. So let's take a look. And of course, it all starts with PowerPoint. As you should know me by now, I do everything in PowerPoint. Now, the slide size that I used is the standard um, 16 by 9. And I added some images which I just cropped to be exactly the size of the slide. I then added some text um, on the slide, um, pretty much in the middle of the slide. And you'll see why in a moment. And I set the transparency to be a little bit transparent. And just some motivational uh, text that I've added there. I'm going to go and save this as images now. Now, in PowerPoint, of course, you can save as a GIF already. Okay, I'm not going to be doing that. I actually want to, so you'll see here in PowerPoint, it now already has, uh, I've got to just find it. I never find it, animated GIF format. So I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to save it as images. So I am just throwing it on my desktop so I can delete it again. It's asking me if I want to save all the slides. You'll take note that uh, saving it to OneDrive like that gives you hassle. So that's why I just give it uh, a go on my desktop and I then move it. But I've now saved all the images as um, the, the slides as images. Now let's take a look. The website that I use is gifmaker.me. I'm going to upload those images from my desktop. And there's all the slides. Now the nice thing is, I can actually move slides up and down here if I want them in a different order. I can set the speed, which is why I'm not currently using the PowerPoint one. But I can set the speed as well. And normally it depends on what the words are that the people have to read. I might set it slower or faster. So that's going a little bit too fast for me. So let's try 1200. Let's try a little bit slower. Yeah, I'll go for that. I'm going to now create the GIF animation and then I'm going to download it. So now I can actually go to uh, to SharePoint and um, on my Champions page, so this is on the 365 Learning Pathways, on my Champions page, I actually want to put a nice banner at the top just to motivate people um, and to have some fun. So I can now upload that GIF as an image. And I'll just go straight to my uh, downloads. And of course, because the image is much bigger, you can actually move it up and down. I've just put the words in the middle of the banner, which works like a charm. But of course, you could set focus points if you didn't add it exactly to the middle of your banner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a focus point to always show the text area of my banner so that it doesn't um, auto crop it on mobile etc so let's take a look how nice is that and you'll see i know i'm cheating but you'll see on different resolutions it keeps it there in the middle because of the autofocus that i said so i do think that that's a pretty cool thing that you can do to motivate people even think of using um, maybe the words of your company values or your mission statement or something so there you go go and create a nice banner I use PowerPoint, I'll save the, um, the slides as images, and then I use the gifmaker.me to actually upload the slides, which means you can actually move them up and down here. And I just use the nice uh, nature theme, kind of like the idea of it. So I hope that you have fun with it, and um, we'll catch up soon.